Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining. Um, my name is Sarah Miller, and I'm our Director of Partnerships here at the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. And today we're very excited and honored to have the University of Vermont Medical Center team here with us to accept our virtual five-star award. So before we get started, I'd love to pass it over to Dave to um, introduce yourself. Thank you, Sarah. It's an honor to be here today. These are some of the most important events we hold every year. Uh, so we'll get to the ceremony in a second, but my name is Dave Mayer. I, I serve volunteer-wise as the CEO for the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. And for those that aren't aware of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, a little background is we were founded in 2012 by a visionary, Joe Chiani, who really believed that achieving zero preventable harm could be done if we all put an urgency and an effort towards it. And under Joe's leadership, the organization has really become a global organization now. We're in 54 countries, over 4,800 hospitals that we work in collaboration and partnership with, trying to achieve that goal of zero preventable harm by 2030. We call it the patient safety moonshot. Let's get to zero by the end of this decade. But I'm delighted to be here with the UVM leadership team and honoring that fine health system for the remarkable work they've done. They started back in 2013, made their first commitment. They've now made over 25 commitments, including the culture of safety survey and, and commitment to achieve the highest quality culture across their system. And that was in 2017. And thus really delivered on what we look for in a five-star health system. So, it is my honor to present the Five Star Hospital Award to the UVM leadership team and congratulate them for outstanding work and the amount of lives they have saved over the last 10, 12 years. Thanks, Dave. And UVM, we'd love to kind of get some background on each of you and um, give some background about why you were passionate about achieving this award and any great initiatives that you're currently working on. Thank you, Sarah. My name is Dr. Steve Leffler. I'm the President and Chief Operating Officer of the UVM Medical Center. I'm an emergency physician by training. And so um, I just wanna say that at the UVM Medical Center, keeping our patients safe is the foundation for everything that we do every day. It's also one of the most difficult and complex aspects of our work because it involves every single one of us in so many different ways. Patient safety is truly everyone's responsibility at the medical center whether our job is clinical in nature or not. Our patient safety team, led by Lori Nodowitz, does an incredible job leading us in this work, providing us with guidance and a framework for the advancement of the very many patient safety initiatives that we undertake consistently around the clock throughout the year. Last week, we observed Patient Safety Awareness Week with a great engagement from so many of our staff. This week, I'm so proud to join my colleagues in accepting the award from the Patient Safety Movement Foundation and reaffirm our shared commitment to patient safety. Dr. Patrick Bender will talk more about our specific efforts to reduce preventable harm and constantly improve patient safety. <clears throat> but I also want to start by thinking, thanking all of our employees for all they do every single day to help us deliver patient care, to safe patient care to every patient that we serve. From the bedside on our inpatient floors, to our operating rooms, our clinics, and our community vaccination site, every person at this organization has a role to play in this critically important work. I also wanna thank the Patient Safety Movement Foundation for advocacy on behalf of people all over the United States and across the world, those who are patients now or who may become patients in the future. Your work helps support hospitals like ours and our constant effort to improve, and we are so proud to partner with you. With that, I'll turn it over to Dr. Bender and Lori to talk about some of the initiatives that we're undertaking. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm, my name is Patrick Bender. Uh, I'm an anesthesiologist by training, and I'm the Vice President for Quality here at the Medical Center. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about our culture of patient safety here at the Medical Center. Um, we are really committed to implementing best practices um, that, can, that are known to reduce patient harm 
um, something as simple as the checklist that we use and the care bundles that we use to help uh, prevent catheter associated um, bloodstream infections are really impactful and um, we do a good job of implementing as many of those as possible. And I think the results that we've seen here have shown that um, that commitment is, is paying off to keep our patients safe. Um, the other thing I'd, I'd like to mention is our, our staff um, uh, at every level of the organization are real patient safety advocates. We have a very strong culture of patient safety advocacy. Um, and every single one of our staff members is empowered um, to alert us to any uh, potential patient safety situations that they see. And um, because of their strong advocacy, we're able to understand when there is a threat to patient safety before it actually reaches the patient. And we're able to make you know, the changes necessary in our system to prevent that from actually occurring and, and any harm reaching the patient. So um, it really is attributable to everybody in this organization um, that uh, maintains our, high, our strong culture of safety. Um, and even especially through the last year, um, where so many places around the country and the world have really struggled with um, patient safety in the stress of COVID, we've been able to weather that storm relatively successfully. And I think it's because of that strong culture that we have um, throughout. So really this award is attributable to, to each and every person that works here. Um, and uh, I can't thank them enough. So, and thank you to the foundation for presenting this award to us. And I'm gonna hand it over to our Director of Patient Safety, Lori Nodowitz. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Steve. Um, thank you to the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. We, we are so honored to receive this award. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you since 2013 to improve patient safety across the United States and across our organization um, through the use of your apps. Um, I would like to just say thank you also to our leadership team because without the leadership team, we would not be able to implement the safety initiatives that we, that we would like. And we have the support of the safety of the leadership team. Uh, and also I would like to say thank you to the wonderful patient safety department team, uh, a, an amazing group of dedicated professionals, passionate about patient safety who do this work every day along with all of the doctors and the nurses and the technicians and the food service workers and the environmental service workers and everybody who works in this organization, patient safety is truly embedded into the culture. So thank you so much for this award. It's, it's a great honor. Thank you. David, Go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to add just a couple things and, and then you could close this out. But uh, thanks to all of you. Uh, your words and your messages are inspiring. The University of Vermont Medical Center is truly a role model for others across the country. You embrace safety and you've shown it can save lives and make a big difference. So uh, again, my congratulations. We're delighted to continue to partner with you and uh, achieve our mission of zero preventable harm. So again, thank you and uh, keep up the great work. Great, and to echo Dave's comments, we can't thank you enough. So we, we're so excited to welcome you into our network as a five-star hospital. And again, we, we look forward to continuing all this great work with you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. you.